you apply fades and crossfades in Descript, you'll come down to your timeline. You'll find this little white dot and it's really small right there in the corner. If you have, you have to have your mouse down here where it turns blue, not up here on the words down here on the sound waves themselves. And then in the top left corner of one of these clips, you'll see that white dot. And as soon as you put your mouse on it, it turns into those double arrows and there's a zero S that's telling me that there's no fade there yet. It's a zero second fade. But if I click on it and I drag it to the right, you can see that number increasing. So right now it's a 0.35 second fade. And what that's gonna do is on the very first frame of this video, it's gonna be completely black like this. There's nothing in my view window. But over the course of 0.35 seconds, it's gonna fade into 100% opacity. So let's see how that looks. Have you ever dropped a painful amount of So now it's got a nice gradual fade in rather than just abruptly going from black to full opacity. And if I click on the dot, just click and release, I get further details. So I have a visual component to the fade and these are the same length. There's a video and audio component. They're the same length by default. But for example, this is a perfect case where I start talking right away. So I don't want my audio to fade. So I can just hit that minus sign. And now the audio fade is gone, but the video fade remains. So now it'll look like this. Have you ever dropped a without that fade in of the audio. So that's a fade in, and that can be done at the beginning of any clip. So if I come to, let's go to another scene. If I come down here, there's that dot, I can create a fade in. So I'm just gonna undo that though. If I wanna create a fade out, so from the end of scene one here, that ends in the word gear, I can do the same thing, but in reverse. So I'll grab the white dot in the upper right-hand corner of this clip, and I'll drag to the left. And this should look familiar. I'm now at a 0.55 second fade. I can click on the dot and release to see the video versus audio component. Once again, I'm gonna undo or get rid of the audio component of this fade by clicking that minus sign. And then I'll just click out. And here's what it looks like. It's your gear. The first thing, I just like that. So it fades out. There's also a transition there, but that was that little zoom portion of it. But let me undo that, get rid of that fade. The next thing you're gonna learn is how to create a crossfade. To create a crossfade, we're going to go find our dot again, and we can start with the left or right side, it doesn't matter. Both of these will have the same effect. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. I get my double arrows, I click, I hold, and I drag into the adjacent clip. In this case, it's scene two. I'm starting in scene three and I'm dragging into scene two. And it creates that sort of X. And you can see in the black box, it says X 0.48 seconds. So that's how long this crossfade is gonna be. And here's what it looks like. Phone. By the way, one, so very, it, it's hard to see because these are two of the same type of clip. But if you could see that kind of blurry outline around myself, let me make this bigger. You can see that blurry outline. So it's fading out of one scene and into the next. And because the background remains the same, it's hard to tell that this is really happening. But this is a useful effect for smoothing out a jump cut. So if I was making a drastic movement here, then this would help to smooth that out. And so, by the way, so it looks like that. It just kind of smooths out your edits. So that's fading and crossfading. If you want to go deeper on these type of Descript lessons, click on this video next.